Actually, my pick is Wayfair. Shares jumping today after the company announced plans to cut about 10% of its overall workforce. That equates to more than 1,700 jobs and includes 1,200 corporate jobs as it looks to, quote, eliminate management layers and reorganize to be more agile. Now, the stock up well over 20% today. That's the highest level we've seen in just about four months. Truist writing in a note today that the move, quote, makes sense. It will help margins. Wells Fargo raised its price target on the stock raising it to 35 bucks from 30, saying that it is a sign that Wayfair is taking its positive EBITDA and free cash flow break-even goals more seriously. Now, the move here coming as Wayfair's business has been under pressure in recent quarters. Sales have declined for more than a year. Putting that in perspective of the impact that's had on the stock, shares are off about 75% over the past 12 months here. So Josh, when you take into account their performance, obviously some changes needed to be made. Wayfair, one of many companies that have been forced to cut costs here right. in recent quarters. We'll see how that impacts the business in the coming quarters. Well, Wayfair, one of those pandemic darlings that we talk about all the time, right? That saw a big boom during the pandemic because of what the business was and sort of how people were ordering at the time. But interesting, because it is a little bit different of a story than say a Peloton or even some of the tech names we talk about when we, when we talk about headcount. When you go back to Q3 of 2019, Wayfair was employing, they said more than 16,000 people. That was right before the pandemic started, of course. Last quarter, they just told us they were employing approximately 17,000 people. That's not that big of a difference in headcount. To now cut 1,700 people, they actually give or take, could be either even with where they were before the pandemic or employing even less people. So sort of an interesting different move than what we've seen from other companies there.